and welcome to the Radio Hour. In today's episode of Every Vote Counts, we join the Johnson family who is celebrating a family reunion. Listen carefully as they have an important message to share with you today with us. There's too many of you to cry. That's a memory. Hey, everybody. Hey. Oh, hey. Cousin Sandra. Girl, you looking good today. It's because I eat right, Cousin Grady. I'm vegan, you know. Now, who's doing the grilling today? That would be me. Grill Master Extraordinaire. Well, Master Extraordinaire, I bought some veggie burgers. So let's see if you can master that. Yes, ma'am. And I don't want them touching all that animal fat. Now, where's Aunt Millie? Oh, there she is. Hey, Aunt Millie. Grady, <clears throat> how about bringing me one of them ribs? Coming right up, Grace. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Boy, we just give them the mm -hmm. Grace. Oh, one of them ribs mm. too now. Oh, good. 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 They're looking good. They're better than last year's ribs. You just keep getting better each reunion. Mm. Three oh, beats yeah. up, honey. Hey, Grady, did you watch the debate last night? Hey, Marina, oh, why you want to ruin a perfectly good rib talking about politics? Okay. <laughs> Then any time you talk about anything, you're all talking about politics. Tell him, Gracie. She's right. Yeah. The fact that we pay higher prices in our neighborhood for those ribs you're eating, that's political. Mm -hmm. sure is. Yeah, yeah, and it's a shame, too, that our schools don't get the funding that other schools get. Political. It sure is. And did you know other schools get the funding? Benny, you know better than to get these uh, talking especially about politics. So, Grady, did you watch the debate or not? Did you? Did you? Yes. Though I don't know why, one lie after another. Oh, and that's no. the truth. Now, now, that's the natural truth, Uncle Grady. Mm -hmm. They're just trying to get your vote to win. And, and when they get in office, it's a whole nother thing. It mm -hmm. sure happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's any decent politicians. There's a yeah, few. few. I don't know if there ever were. Oh, that's you why think I don't so? vote. Hmm. <laughs> no, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did you say, Benny? What's wrong with him? That's why I don't vote. Oh, you don't man. vote, son? That's crazy. Well, well, uh, why should I? Uh, All politicians are the same. We just voting for the lesser two evils anyway. No, <laughs> Benny. You vote for the better of the two. There's some good people out there who care about the people they represent, like John Lewis. John Lewis was a good politician and a dedicated congressman. Oh, and yeah, in good trouble. Yeah, he he, he might have been, he might have been all of that, but most of them just care about their own agendas. Yeah, well, you just have to pick people based on their morals, their dedication, their works, and their record. And huh. Just hope for the best. Great it. Great it. I hope you're not burning my veggie burger. No, I'm just adding some smoke flavor to it. I gotta go. Oh. <laughs> and I gotta step away for a moment and breathe. Oh, I can't boy. believe this child does not vote. Oh, <laughs> no. I didn't eat. <laughs> oh, oh, Marina. Marina, are you all right? You're not having a heart attack, is you? Oh. Do you need your medicine? Birdie. Birdie, bring your mama her medicine. No, Ruby. Birdie? Oh, Birdie, I'm okay. Ruby, I just have to catch my breath after what Benny said. Woo, girl, well, what did he say? Oh. He had the nerve to say that he does not vote. Oh, yes, oh my God. Oh, Lordy, Grandma's turning over in her grave. Mm -hmm. Papa, did you know that Benny doesn't vote? Oh, I didn't know he doesn't vote. Oh, Gee, what? God, how could he Let do that? Let me finish this chocolate cake and get up out of this chair. 
Well, you need to leave some of that chocolate cake alone so you can get out that chip. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> you can't get out that chocolate cake. Let me tell you about voting. Tell him, Pop Pop. Go ahead. Yes. Look at here, son. African Americans. African Americans fought and they bled and died to earn us the right to vote. Yes, they did. Thank you, Miss <laughs> Ruby. That's all right. <laughs> As I was saying now, in 1870, the 15th Amendment to the Constitution was passed which gave African-American men the right to vote. And, yep, but women didn't get the right to vote until 1920. And that was much later. <laughs> anyway, the 15th Amendment prohibited them from keeping us from voting because of race, color, positions of form of servitude. But you can bet black men had a hard time trying to vote. I didn't know that. Yes, because we were silenced by racist poll taxes and literacy tests. Mm. That's right, Marina. And the KKK who terrorized people and took lives, they would kill you if you even thought about casting the ballot. Mm. Oh, my. Wow. I, I heard about that old KKK thing. But, but if they made an amendment, why didn't the government step in and help? Well, the government did. They sent support shortly after the end of the Civil War, but in early 1865, the good old boys passed some laws that soon became the basis for the Jim Crow laws. Jim Crow right, laws, boys. yeah. Those <laughs> were established to degrade and discriminate against people of color and minorities. Oh, and yes. those laws lasted until 1965 when the Civil Rights Act was passed. I can't believe oh. it's this then. That's 100 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. That's, that's mm -hmm. more than 100 years yeah, ago. Exactly. Hey, y'all. Hey, mm -hmm. We had a family reunion, not a political rally. Turn up that music and let this, get this party kicking. Okay, okay, Sandra, wait a minute. We're just trying to school this boy on the value of voting. Besides, why you want the music turned up, Sandra? I don't tell you. You can't dance no how. Oh, <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. That sounds like a challenge to me. It sure oh, yeah. is to me too. Well, I tell it you. Is. Oh, yeah. It is a challenge. Let us finish with this boy here. And I'll mop up the dance floor with you. Ooh, the only on thing your overhand gonna be mopping up is all that sweat you're gonna be slinging trying oh, to work the moves. I okay, can't sweetie. We'll <laughs> see. You better go over in the corner and practice while we finish up with Benny. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, go, go ahead. Go ahead and dance, dance, Cousin Gracie. I ain't voting anyway. Oh, no. No, oh. no, no, Benny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She can wait. You got to understand the struggle our people went through. Blacks who tried to vote were hit, beaten in the head, blood running down push and show. And not only that, they were intimidated. Cross burning increased around election time and they would detain community leaders so they wouldn't rouse up people and get them to vote. Oh gosh, Marina, you ain't saying nothing but a word. You're speaking the truth. Mama said, people would receive phone calls threatening them if they voted. Mm -hmm. And some employers would even threaten your job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. Not yeah. Was right. Right. No, was right. No, that's not right. That's not right. No, it wasn't. That's what we're trying to tell you, boy. Benny, there were also purging. Names would be taken off the rosters and people were told that they couldn't vote even if they misspelled their names. Mm, mm, mm. It's almost That's like right. that now. That's right. Or they would be told they were at the wrong precinct, but they wouldn't even tell them which precinct they should go to. That was a shame. Gosh almighty, ain't great. That, that's just like these governors now closing down voting polls. That's right, sugar. It's still happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I already mentioned poll taxes. People were required to pay the taxes to register to vote. And then they had to prove that they had been paid. 
and you know, black men were never given receipts, and so mm -hmm. on, so on, so on. Good. Mm -hmm. And Good. I told you about the literacy test before, then they would have you read the re preamble to the Constitution, and if you missed a single word, you couldn't even vote. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Or they would set up white, white only primaries. Can you get that? Where only white voters were permitted to participate. Mm. This way, they kept out blacks and other minority voters. And uh, you know what? We haven't even mentioned the lynchings. Lynching? Lynching. And I, I thought black men got lynched with women and white women. I didn't know it had anything to do with them voting. That too. That too. Mark, have you been listening to the one we've been trying to tell you? People have died so you can vote. And even those that didn't die had a big struggle on their hands. That's right. Horrible things happened to black people trying to vote. You ain't said nothing but the truth, Gracie. Yeah, hey, but now that, that stuff ain't fair. That's just not fair. It sure <laughs> isn't. It's not fair. You're right. And that's why it's important to vote, Benny, to put people in place who make and support laws so those kinds of things don't happen anymore. People like, like uh, Barbara Jordan, uh, uh, yeah. Maynard Jackson, uh, Keisha, Ryder, Keisha. Oh, yeah. Oh. And you know, Benny, terrible things even happened to those who helped to change the rules. In 1961, Herbert Lee, he was a voting rights activist and he was killed in Macomb, Mississippi, Mississippi. Right, That's right, Ruben. And around that same time, two black churches used by Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, better known as SNCC, for voters registration meeting. They burned on churches to the ground in Sasa, Georgia. Mm, 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 mm. Are you all still talking mm. politics? I'm trying to get a game of dominoes going. Any takers? Yeah, all I'm right, gonna... Brady, come on I'm now. Gonna... When I'm we're finished telling Benny about black folks and voting, I'll play with you. Okay? I, 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 okay, I, I, okay. So, know. Benny, that was a bunch of hardship faced by black people trying to vote. Now, let's play some bones. Now, you didn't cut it's it like, that well, Wait a minute. Now, it mm -hmm. seems as bad as y'all said. Well, why'd you keep even trying? Because it wasn't all bad. We made some progress. The same year that those churches were burned down, my friend from Howard University was elected as attorney general in Massachusetts that year. And he went on to be elected as a senator in 1966. He was the first black man in Congress since Reconstruction. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, but the crown jewel was the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Mm. Mm. No, that's what, what, what was that? Well, President Lyndon Johnson signed an act that eliminated literacy tests, poll taxes, and other tests to keep used to keep blacks from voting. Hallelujah. Shirley Chisholm. Shirley who? Shirley, Shirley Chisholm. Chisholm. Who's Shirley Chisholm, ain't Ruby? Who is Shirley Chisholm? My goodness, boy, have you, you don't know nothing, do you? Shirley Chisholm was only the first woman elected to Congress, the first African-American, and the first woman to run as a president from a major party in the United States. That's who she was. Mm -hmm. That's right. And long before Hillary. Mm -hmm. And yet in the 21st century, we still continue to struggle at the polls. Like we weren't even there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Marina, that's because the Voting Rights Act is just that, an act. Parts of it have to be renewed every now and then. Mm. Mm. That's well, terrible. And we could lose our right to vote at any time. Any time? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense at all. I know it doesn't, but we've shouted long enough and loud enough that they can't ignore us anymore, and we'll keep on shouting 
until there's equality for every race of people. Mm, that's the reason. That's the reason we're marching right now. They look it. Just like we're not even American citizens. Mm. All over the nation, discriminatory actions are being exposed right now, especially with all the attention to injustice that the Black Lives Matter movement is bringing to the forefront. Yeah, well, let's just hope the Black Lives Matter protesters will put their actions into voting. Yes, yeah. you're right about that. Because with their vote, we have a chance to fix things. We can put in protections that work together to honor our right to vote and guarantee justice and equality. Yes, and maybe their votes can help stop the police from committing these modern day legalized lynchings. Yeah, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They all the same. Manny, it's not just wishful thinking. Since 2006, Congress extended the key sections of the Voting Rights Act on four occasions in overwhelming bipartisan votes. Oh, yeah. So, Brandon, to vote not only honors the memory, the struggle, and the sacrifices of those who came before us, it can also make a difference. Mm-hmm. Voting will do that. That's right. If you don't make think difference. it can, ask Barack Obama. He'll tell you, yes, it can. Oh, yes, yes, can. 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 Ruby, I love you, honey. But let's face it, that singing ain't your forte. Well, Miss <laughs> Marina, I'll let you know that I sing in my church choir. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the Bible does say make a joyful noise, a noise unto the Lord. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. Would, would you go with me tomorrow to register to vote? Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, that would make me so oh, proud. Thank you, thank you. But right now, Let's get back to this barbecue. You know those ribs that Grady's over there fixing with? I think one or two of them have my name on them. Uh, mine, mine too. Mine too. Uh, well, thanks, Sandra Go. Let me go ahead and dance some circles around her on this dance floor. Oh, yes. 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 I hope you listen well, and we'll remember to vote. Vote, vote, vote. V, victory and voicing our choices. O, our obligation. The time to take seriously our right to express our right and accept this right as a sacred duty. T, taking a position on people, policies, and positions. E, emancipation, and giving energy to our ideas and opinions. Vote. 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 Oh, yes. Let's vote. Today's cast is Cheryl Robinson played Sandra. Rated, played by Edward Smith. Marina played by Jane Goggins. Ruby played by Deborah Bell. Pop Pop played by Wendell Johnson. Benny played by J.J. Jones. Gracie, played by Carolyn White. Stage manager, Jean Harris. Sound 
played by Joetta Person. Graphics, Carol Times. Brenda Porter was the director. Josephine Hill, your announcer. Don't forget to vote. Oh, 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 oh,